and welcome to episode 65 where we're going to look at the TC Helicon vocal processor. Now this is a peculiar unit and it's probably aimed at solo singers who need to have sort of harmony vocals added. I mean maybe they're singing, maybe they're playing keys, maybe they're strumming a guitar, but realistically that's going to be pretty much the same for every single song you sing. This thing can add a bit more breadth to your performance because what actually happens is it listens to your vocal mic and it adds in extra voices. Now the extra voices um, can be singing below you or above you and there's various sort of stock programs you can use or you can conjure up your own. But it's got one or two really nice features. Now the unit will assume unless you tell it anything different that you're going to probably sing in C major. So if you sing in C major you've got the normal notes that would be in that chord, the sort of the, the E, the G, maybe if you're playing a, a B flat at the top for a seventh. Um, but realistically, it's sort of a, you know, the basic thing will handle sort of, you know, non-stressful music. Uh, if you want to add in other chords, then you can tell the unit to do it as well. It can be used straight out the box. And if you were gonna sort of do barber's shop style harmonies then it will do that without any bother whatsoever if you want to do more uh, interesting versions then it either takes a bit of programming or the clever bit it can actually listen to what you're playing on your keys or it will listen to your guitar whatever instrument you've plugged into it and it will analyze that chord work out what it was and create harmony vocals from that which is really neat um, it's actually quite clever too because uh, it can have the, the keyboard plugged into it or a guitar or any other electronic instrument but you can also connect it to a MIDI keyboard. If you've connected it to a MIDI keyboard then the MIDI output from your keys goes into an input on the back of this thing and then if you play a C chord, a D chord, uh, minor sevenths, major sevenths, pretty much whatever you like, um, it can analyze it instantly and change the harmony vocals behind it. It's pretty clever. Now, probably the easiest way to do it is for me to give you a demo of what it actually sounds like. So I think what I'll probably do is let you see my face so you can see what I'm singing and I'll probably put um, the keyboard when we get round to that bit, I'll put that in a little box in the corner so you can see when the keyboards are changing and hear what the actual differences are but I guess the first thing we probably ought to do is just run through some of the preset sounds that are in there so you can get a feel as to sort of how this thing actually works. I can now hear in these headphones what this device is doing. Uh, obviously if you're using it live it's going to be coming out of the PA so you'll still get the thing. Now there's a couple of important things. Tuning is very important. Um, it does actually have um, a pitch correct feature so you can do a bit of tuning but the problem you have is if you're expecting it to harmonize around a C chord let's say you're in the key of C major it's not much good singing a B or worse singing halfway between a B and a C because it will false trigger it's not sure what you're doing so you do have to make sure your pitch is pretty good so if you are a rubbish singer these are actually not going to be much use to you at all because you need to have control over what you're singing. And if you don't have it, it doesn't work. So if I play, we're on preset number one, and if I play on the keyboard a C major chord, the MIDI has gone to the unit. The unit knows that the chord that I'm going to sing will be harmonized to C major. I'm the one who this is the way the unit works And if I stop singing C and I go down to the A And the G, F, E, D, C So no matter what I actually sing, it's going to be in that C major chord. So, <laughs> And the unit is actually putting in four voices, um, one below, one round about where I am, it hovers about a little bit, 
and then two and then a high one on the top. So it's a four note chord and it's based around C. So that's the C and I'm singing a C. If I now play an F, playing that F has made it go to the new key. So the chords can change. So with this barber shot one, it's quite neat. So, so I'll go through a few. It's quite hard actually to do this when you're trying to think chords, speak the words and sing something completely different. But I'll give you a go. Let's start on C chord, then I'll go to M, F. D minor comes next with a G7 going to C. Down to C7, and we can even do F, M, and F minor. It works, even with an A minor, or an A major. So it's pretty neat. So in Barber Shop, um, it's actually following me. It's quite neat. And you could imagine that with a foot switch to turn it off and turning it back on, it could be quite usable. The neat thing is when you turn it on the harmonies fade in. So I've hit bypass so this is just me. So if I sing a note uh, it can fade in me. Um, okay uh, we've got most of the sort of stuff with this barbershop one sorted out. The next one is called Vivato. So these voice works devices have got sort of pretty decent understanding, I think, of what maybe a solo singer might need. Hello. All of a sudden, some of the BVs start to have vibrato, which is not on my voice. So I'm singing a constant note. Hello. That's quite nice. So it's sort of barbershop harmonies again. Um, the way that the actual display handles this, it tells you there's one that's eight notes below, one four notes below, three notes above, and five notes above. So it's dealing in semitones or single steps. So that's pretty clever. And then just adds that vibrato. Oh, no, no, no. If I try some chord changes, we can go. Oh, that, that was a bit strange. I went from C. Ah, ah, ah. It's not responding to keyboards. Oh. It's staying on C major. C major on this one. Hang on a minute. The barber's shop setting does the chord changes. Ah. Go from F to a C. Program two, the vibrato one. I'm playing below. It's responding to my voice. If it Now that's weird. It's not my fingers doing that. It's actually detecting my voice and picking the chord itself. I'm not doing that. Three comes up with barbershop again. Slightly different chord voicing. So one of the chords. Yes, it's just 
different. It's just got a different voicing. Oh. So that's good. Hmm. If I play C, uh, the, if I raise the G up to an A, I expect it to get A minor. Hmm, that's not quite what I expected. It does it, it just does it by like an inversion, it's a bit odd. Display one goes down, two of them go up. Oh, okay. Oh, number four, church choir. It was Sunday morning and I went to church. The vicar was late. They started without me. Now that's a bit strange because I stuck in there. Play the C major. C major. If I had the B flat at the top. The root went up through to the E. So if I'm doing C major like this, adding to make it a seventh, this one. There is no B flat in that chord, even though I'm playing one. Hmm. <laughs> Number five is subtle lead. Um, I don't really know what this is going to do. Let's try it with the chord first. I'll play the C and do the. This is subtle lead, a subtle lead, subtle lead. No, it's not doing anything. There's no. What have we actually got? We've got four voices in unison. Uh, so it's a sort of a thickening type thing. Let me try. Da 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 da. I'll I'll, I'll bypass it out. Da 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 da. da. That's just me adding the unison, isn't it? So there's a bit of reverb as well. Da da da. Da 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 da. So just a sort of thickening preset. What's next? Solo vibrato. How does that work? Da. Oh, yeah, that wasn't me. Da. I don't like that very much. That's quite disconcerting to hear it in the headphones. Me doing vibrato when I'm not. All right. Soup. Oh, oh, oh my God! It's turning Alvin. Hello. And there's no, it doesn't respond to chord changes. No chord changes, but I've got this strange. I've got two octaves down, one octave down, and then two octaves up. So there's four of me all singing above and below. Oh, no, 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 no. Super thick. I better use the bypass for this, haven't I? Da, 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 that's just me. One, two, three. Hello, and here comes the bypass switched. Ooh. It's just a sort of reverb and a bit of sort of texture. There's no shifting, is there? Just like probably little microtones, maybe. I don't know. Sounds a bit. Sounds a bit thicker, I suppose. Um, Difficult to tell with the reverb. Now this one's going to be a bit odd. Midi notes. Ah, now if if this one here, it's detecting what I'm playing. So on the display, when I actually play the chord, you can see the notes I'm playing. Uh, 
So it's just basically following along. Um, and it's putting in exactly the notes I'm playing in that MIDI chord. So if I do this one, the one at the bottom, the, it's got a G3, an E3, a C4, and nothing, presumably, because I'm only playing three. If I add the C at the bottom, uh, yeah, that's it. So now I've got the C at the bottom. So it's actually doing it. So if I did a really bizarre chord. So a diminished chord, it can manage that. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. How about if I put a really low one in? Do, 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 add in the C an octave below the C an octave. Yeah, it detected the C too. That's clever. Radio. Oh my god. Radio voice. This is the ultimate in the... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. Well, I'm not sure about radio voice, I suppose, if you do the growly stuff. Hello and welcome to... Mm, you get the idea. Fat lead. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's just um, two unisons, then two major... Two major thirds, is it? Da, yeah, it is. So I'm singing the sea. Then we've got two E's above it. Does it work if I change keyboard? And we go, no, there's no, keyboards don't make any difference. Fat third and a fifth. Fat third and a fifth. So we've got two of the thirds, so that's two E's and two G's on top of the C that I'm singing. Mm, okay. Fat third. Ooh. That's a. F so it's got two E's and it's gone down four. Ooh. And I don't suppose it. No, it doesn't react to the keyboard. Fat sixth. Yeah, it's just down a bit, isn't it? These are all very flavours of the same thing. Oh, that's interesting. It's got a... Yeah, okay. Super fat third. So that's everything... All the harmonies are going to be the third above. Da, 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 da. So it's all above me by a major third. Hmm, I don't know how you'd use that. Seventh. Da, oh, that's a bit strange. Da, yeah, just variations of the... Intervals. Jazz guys. Ooh. It's got some sort of bizarre delay on it as well. Hello. Here comes the singing. Uh, it's one of those ones that says it's in C major as well. Here we go. Especially with 
that strange delay in. I don't quite know you use this. It could be good maybe for songwriting. This is the way you sing it. This is the way it rings out with that strange delay. Way up a scale, a third, a fifth, an octave. Does it respond to the keys? No, it doesn't. It's one of those preset ones that follows my note around. We didn't know that, did it? Round follows my note. Possibly. Upper tight. This is upper tight. Sounds a bit similar to the previous one. Um, the intervals are set very close. Natural. Uh, no, these are responding to the chords, by the way. They're only taking their pitch from my voice. I don't think there were... Oh, these are, these are quite low ones. Lower scale. And that strange delays back as well. This is my way. They're all quite below my fundamental. Hmm, okay. <laughs> You can tell I used to be in a Beach Boys band, can't you? I can't get out of the habit. Mixed quintet. So that gives us uh, some above, some down. This is the chord, so we're starting with the C. If I change up to the F, will it follow? Yeah, it did. And I don't know why. It doesn't sound quite nice to my ears. Hmm. Scoop quintet. It's very similar. It's in the scale of C major. Yeah, it doesn't respond to the keyboard. Okay. It's very close to the others. It uh, doesn't sort of jump out and sound loose. I wonder if that's loose. Oh. And they're all, all the other voices are shifting in time. This is a bit odd. Everything seems to move out of sync. Weird. Quintets. Loads of variations of the same thing. I'm no, 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 no. Kids backing. Oh no. This is the kids. Oh, it's turning into like a chipmunk orchestra. Alvin, and they're singing in tune, tune, tune. Mm, can't see a use for that one. Two towers. What the heck is this? <laughs> Included that one, it was awful. Just below and just above. It's very tight as well. And some of the voicings are a bit odd. Mm. 
some of, I think we're now we've gone up a bit. We're into cartoon territory. It's the playful ones now. No, unusable, I think. For a bow. Oh. Oh no. This one does track. This is the way, so we're in C, go up to F. And the F can go to G7, back to F. I think we're good now, going into harmony territory. With the keyboard changing to F. Down to, up to. This is one, this one does change to. So we're back into a batch of presets that can be played with the keyboard. Oh, by the way, I gave, I gave up trying to use the guitar. I, uh, my acoustic guitar is too low output to trigger it properly. So it would need uh, going into a mixer and sending it proper line level. The guitar level just wasn't, wasn't enough. More variations of the same thing, all responding to chords. Three below. This is a three below. Oh. falsetto very much. It won't let me actually get that note in. The note that I'm singing it doesn't accept as a valid one. So the G chord works. But it's, it as you go on a note that's not in that chord, it tricks it. I don't know how to make this work. No. So I'm, I'm actually playing the F. And it's, it's grabbing hold of the, the note that I'm singing and pulling it with an auto-tune. Sorry. I can't do that one. That was a bit of a mistake. Way up and a bass. So we've got some voices above us. There's three up. There's three up and we've got the one down the bottom. Okay. Above and bass, they're the same sort of thing. I'll scroll through till I see any that like. Ah. Yeah, this one responds to chords. Mixed choir. No idea what mixed choir is, but here we go. Okay, I think. Mixed choir F. I don't, I don't This is definitely me, I think. It's difficult to know. In the headphones, I'm hearing my voice and I'm hearing notes and I'm trying to tune to the chord and that's that's 
harder than I thought. It's one of those ones where it's letting me change with the keyboard, but then when I sing a note that's not in that chord, it tries to pull it somewhere else uh, without you being able to control it. That's very odd. Maybe we're straying into weird territory now. I think we are. It does seem to let me change the chord. Here we go. Ooh. Loads of delay, reverb, and it grabs those notes again. That's a bit strange. How would you use this? This one's a chord of C major, it says. And it does go up to an F and back to a C and a G. But they all seem to abide. All the notes in this chord seem to be above me. Maybe if I sing lower. No, that doesn't work either, does it? Funky octaves. I'm going. Oh God. I'm going, 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 going. No, it doesn't. Die. It doesn't change. It's all fixed. Gregorians. Just a doubled effect, a doubled effect with a slight amount of reverb, I don't know, I can't tell. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Oh, it's got a vibrato on it. Du like a phase, isn't it? Du -du -du. Du -du -du. What the heck is that? Du -du 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 -du. It's just like a pitch shift, I think. Du -du -du. And it's just an octave down. Octave. Just for effect. Oh, it's it's pitched. Yeah, it's pitch shifted too. It's locked. Same thing, but with it, an octave. Up. Now that one tracks. Urban double. Oh. It's, it's quite, quite a long delay. One, hello. It's quite a long. Too long. I think the giant voice. Helium. Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 no. 
Dragon Kid. What the heck is that? Dragon Kid. Whoa. Dragon. Dragon? It's not even music, is it? Do no, it's just a just a voice effect. Makes me feel. Makes me sound like Joe Pasquale. Arnold. What the heck? What would you have a preset called Arnold for? That doesn't make any sense. And this one's a shout. Oh, it's not one of those old 1970s. The 1970s in those old jingles. Characters? Oh, now that's a bit strange because that's just um, adding... According to this display, there's low notes and high notes in it and an octave. So it's sort of adding sort of harmonics and things to the voice. Do, 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 do. We couldn't sing to it because it, what I'm hearing when I sing is a completely different note. So I, I think it's speech only. Do, 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 do. No, it, it's, you couldn't sing to that at all. Little guy. Now that's just making my voice a bit higher. And it makes me feel, well, it makes me sound stupid, that's one thing. And how about, oh, good God, they're even worse. These, these are just a toys, aren't they? Run, brother. Try to, sp oh no. This preset is labelled Try to Speak. It's one of those delay things that fuddles your brain. And makes you speak a little bit like um, people who've had strokes. This is a trick I used to do with students quite a lot. And when we used to do reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders years ago, this was a real killer. If you press the wrong button and you were hearing the off-tape signal, it's just enough to make your brain want to slow you down. And if you try and follow your speech, you start to slow your words and it's a it's a good trick to play on people because it makes them speak very oddly um, and you can use it to learn to ignore what your ears have got so you actually look at the camera and speak exactly as you know and try and ignore the delay that's in your head it's a really peculiar thing and it's a good thing to try as an experiment but it's a bit of a rubbish thing to stick in this Hard correct. I'm guessing we're going to pictures. Do do. Oh yeah, we got the. Do you want Oh yeah. It's just a pitch shift. Do do. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it relates to any particular key. Do. It's major. It's a major one. But if you try to sing in a different key, oh, it's horrible. Medium correction. It's, so it's all, these next ones are all. Um, this one looks a bit odd. It says only pentatonic. Five note stuff. When would you ever want that? Do no. Pick your age. Do 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 do. I'm presuming it just gives you a little bit of shift up and down. Just changes it slightly. Pick your age two. That goes up a little bit. So that one's uh. These are pointless, really, aren't they? Nice vibrato. Do, ooh. Do, 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 do. It's very strange to sing a note and then have it wobble in your ears. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Ooh. It's very clever, but it's just pointless. Soft vibratos, mature vibrato. That sounds like a warning, doesn't it? Do yeah, it's one of those opera singery things. 
Yeah, I know. Scarborough Fair. Do, do, do. What's he doing? Nothing. Do. Nope, can't detect anything on Scarborough Fair. No idea what that does. Emoti notes. Another bizarre one. If I go and sing the background, the background only works when I play the keys. If I take my fingers off, it fades away. And it comes back when I play the notes. I think so these ones all seem to be trash. Two keys, keys and if you stop playing them, them, then you don't get any more notes. So it will only follow. I'm singing All I'm getting is a G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G It takes what G G G So I'm actually I'm actually singing a D D D D D D D D D D D It just locks it to that G or locks it to the A, 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 A. Um, it doesn't quite seamlessly. I mean, it sounded like me. It didn't sound like a chipmunk, did it? Not sure about this is. Oh. Tracks the notes and chord. Four, four note latch. This is a four note latching on a plane now. No, it doesn't work. work. The first four notes I played are locked in. Robo pen. <laughs> These are rubbish now, aren't they? Big and small. Tapping. Just delays. One, two. Okay. Slap. Slap. Oh, it's just a slap back echo. Yeah. Ping pong. Yeah. No, these are all. Now we're now we're into just ordinary reverbs. I don't think there's any music on this, is there? No. Chamber. That's just uh, just a reverb. Do, 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 do. Probably they're the reverbs that are being used in some of the other effects. Cavernous. Rev. And then user presets. So that's it really. So we've gone through all the presets in the unit. Um, and I can see it being quite useful. I mean, I could imagine if you were playing keys, so you've got all your stuff coming from the, the keyboard and you're singing, you could have a foot switch and then by pressing the foot switch, you could introduce harmonies for where you wanted them and then get rid of them again. Because sure, sure, you don't want to have these effects permanently on. Um, and I'm guessing as well that perhaps with a bit of effort, you could, in its song mode, program the different sort of harmonic textures you want into individual songs so for a song where you didn't want anything you clear maybe you could maybe you could just use the reverb i guess if you wanted to the next song you could actually have uh, an effect for the chorus or for a certain part of the song um for songs that have lots of harmonies in i don't think you're really going to be able to sort of control it well enough for it to be predictable enough so that you know that when you sing this next note you're actually going to get the right one um, 
the thing I discovered is it's quite uh, it's quite important to hit the notes. It does seem to have a bit of leeway, and it'll t so if you sing nearly a C, um, it'll grab hold of it and pull the chord to C, and also on some of the presets it'll auto tune U too, which is pretty good. Um, but you still see these things; they come up quite often on eBay because I suspect many people buy them, and they, they weren't cheap devices. People will be buying them and not using them, like me. I used it for a couple of projects um, and then it got put away, which is a bit sad because it was, you know, it's quite a nice little device. And if you probably put the effort into programming it, you could do some really nice stuff. Certainly if you were singing sort of covers in a, in a bar or something, you could make a one person sound like far more. And I guess there's no real need to always have a barber shop style full four note chord. I mean, maybe you could just set it to use a sort of third above or go down to the fifth below, something like that. I mean, you know, you could do all these sort of things and program them in that would be perhaps a little bit more subtle than actually um, using it in the mode that we've been playing with it today. But uh, if you've managed to stick through the video this far, well done. A huge amount of these presets, like they are on so many things nowadays, are totally unusable. Uh, if you think back to when we did that, um, the Roland guitar synth, there were probably half a dozen sounds in a sort of hundred sound box that you'd actually use live. Um, and I think this is the same. Um, find your favourite presets, tweak them so they fit your particular song choices and it could be useful. Well, anyway, um, it's probably too modern to be called nostalgia or sort of vintage equipment. Um, just something that probably never actually got that much push when it was new. So, VoiceWorks from TC Halion. Um, if you see one about, at least now you'll know what they can do. And maybe, you know, maybe it's worth a go. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.